Hello, this is Aaron with AnnetComputers.com with another video for you today. I filed this under software problems. Western Digital 320 GB hard drive, get your WD Smartware working. You tried to update firmware and software for your 320, 320 GB Passport Essential portable hard drive. That drive was installed, but to your knowledge, not registered by a consultant. That hard drive was purchased and installed on a Windows 7 operating system. You did not see any instructions on how to proceed until you finished when you found and printed out those software update instructions, including a variety of warnings of which you were not aware of. You can no longer access smartware at all. To best of your knowledge, you have no installation disk or files which would allow you to reinstall that program. You might have correct firmware and software for that model of portable hard drive you purchased. It is recommended that you reinstall both firmware and Windows 7 software. Basically you install that firmware first and then smartware software. You can view more detailed instructions at Western Digital Smart where software update page you can download a smartware firmware update 2.003 and windows smartware software update release 1.2.1.26 please follow their instructions and hopefully after reinstalling both firmware and software it will work this time this fix was written for a Western Digital 320 gigabyte passport essential portable hard drive connected to a computer running Windows 7 bit can certainly be used to troubleshoot other Western Digital external hard drives connected to other versions of Microsoft Windows. And these updates are now have been replaced with newer updates. I decided to just leave this blog post and not change them because in the future they might have come out with new firmware and new software. So I wanted to go to that website that is linked here and I will include a hyperlink a web link to my blog post at anetcomers.com so that you can read over this on your own time and then also so that you can access a link to Western Digital's website so you will get forwarded to this page here WD Smartware update and at this point you have two options first you will come to this page and this won't it will have select operating system so you will want to select your operating system whether you're running Windows or Mac OS 10.5 and 10.4 but we're just gonna stick with Windows then it gives you two more choices update for Windows users firmware update update for all other drives which have you noticed Windows release 3.2.5.1 is current as of the time of this video but in the future Western Digital might come up with an update so then this will change here then you click continue and you will get to this page so then these are the detailed instructions firmware update for Windows users as you can see it's version 3.2.5.1 but that could certainly change in the future and then it has precautions to follow and then it details how to download and update that firmware so basically we will download a file and it's got detailed instructions here for you which I'm not going to go over and then back to here so once you finish updating firmware firmware is just software for the actual essential for your might book essential it's the software that's on that device for your hard drive so once you've successfully downloaded follow these instructions and then installed that firmware then you want to go back to this page and again you can select it back to select operating system and then back to Windows or not I'm just showing you again in case you go to that link again and then it will always default back to select what operating system then you would select on continue here where it says Western Digital Smartware update Smartware is the actual software that you install on your computer running Windows 7 and then prior versions of Windows possibly Windows XP Vista and possibly Windows 8 and as you can see 
A current release as of the time of this video is 2.4.10.17, but that could certainly change in the future. Then you'll get to this page, Software Update. So then you will want to update your software for Windows users or install the smartware if this is the first time you're actually trying to get this my book essential to work and then it has detailed instructions on how to update the smartware software it says here it's for Windows XP 32 bit service pack 3 Windows XP 64 bit service pack 2 Windows Vista Windows 7 or Windows 8 and then you have to have Microsoft .NET Framework 4 or higher and if you don't have that software don't worry the software will automatically detect it and then it will prompt you to install that software or you could download it from here at this link install that software and then rerun the WD Smartware software updater and then it has more detailed instructions here same process you have to download that Smartware software install it and it's got some quick instructions here and then it has a special note here so this is probably very important because it's in red and it's bolded if you are running smartware version 1.1.x which means an earlier version and that x means it could be a, a dot one dot two dot three or whatever or 1.2.x you are required to set up and enable a new backup plan once the WD Smartware 2.0 upgrade installation has completed. So that's a very important note. So you, if you're upgrading your software, this tells you that you will have to create a new backup plan. So that's just a caveat that you might want to become aware of. If it's a brand new install, you don't have to worry about that. So hopefully this information was productive and helps you get your smartware software working with your western digital essential passport essential so you can always browse to inatcomputers.com for other possible potential tips and fixes to help you fix your most common computer problems thank you for listening